Spirit Sports Consultants presents NFL Week 16, our picks for all games. We've got two games that could very well be Super Bowl previews, Baltimore at San Francisco and Dallas and Miami, the former more likely than the latter. Let's take a look at the game, starting off with a Thursday special with the Saints going to L.A. to face the Rams. Saints look good in the victory over the Giants, who have been playing really, really well. And the Rams look good again against the Commanders. We think the home team has the edge here. We like the Rams winning this 28-21 and a fast-paced, high-scoring game in L.A. Take the Rams on Thursday night. Bengals at the Steelers. The Bengals have looked really good after starting slow with new quarterback Jake Browning after the Joe Burrow injury, putting him out for the season. The Steelers, on the other hand, have just looked lost. You know, whether it's been Mitch Trubisky or Mason Rudolph, you don't see that same fire on offense, even on defense. We think that reverses. We think Mike Tomlin is too good of a coach, and he feels the pressure. We think they're going to come back here with an upset 24-21. The Bengals look vulnerable against the Vikings. Came up with a win late, but we think at Pittsburgh, the Steelers are going to have that performance that keeps them in the playoff hunt. Browns at the Texans. And boy, each team played an unbelievable game. We had them split screen watching the Browns, Bears, and the Texans against the Titans in that battle of old Houston versus new Houston. And the Texans, if they get C.J. Stroud back, we were very impressed by the performance without Stroud. That defense looked great. And we think they should be able to bother Joe Flacco enough. And with the home field as we liked them with a close one, 21-14. Jaguars at the Bucks, And these are two teams we have not figured out all season. The Bucks were one of the only early game losses from this past week, and the Jaguars, we continue to pick them to win, and they lose, and vice versa. We think here, even at Tampa, it's not much of a home field advantage to both in the state of Florida. We think the Jaguars are fundamentally the better team. Baker's been playing out of his mind. We think the Jacks take this one. Colts at the Falcons in the ATL. Two indoor teams playing indoors at Mercedes-Benz. These teams are evenly matched. We really like the Indianapolis offense. Minshew impressed us this past week, and we couldn't understand why they were only one and a half point favorites at home against the Steelers, who have been struggling. So we think they can go into Atlanta here. As good as Atlanta was early in the season, they just have been inconsistent. We think Minshew and that offense, they're really clicking. Some of the plays we saw on Saturday are really impressive. So we like them winning here 21-17 at Atlanta. Next up, we got the Raiders at the Chiefs. So who are the Raiders? Are they the teams that got shut out at home by the Vikings? Or the one that put up 63 on the Chargers that got the head coach fired? We know who the Chiefs are, and we think there's got to be a little bit of a, a slip from the, from the Raiders' big 63-point output. So we think going into Kansas City, we misspelled this on purpose. Uh, we like the Chiefs here, 31-24, defending their home turf. As they're trying to jockey for playoff positioning, currently, I believe, in the third seat. Next up, we've got the Patriots at the Broncos, and I caught a lot of grief from my pick of the Lions beating the Broncos this past week, and why did I like them? Broncos were on their third consecutive road game, which is never good, and the Lions play out of their minds in Detroit. They struggle on the road, so that's that. Broncos coming back home, we think this is a playoff team. We like them a lot. We like them winning here 27-21. We just think this past Saturday's game just wasn't a good matchup for them. We think going forward, they might run the table and get in as a 6th or 7th seed in the AFC. Buffalo at the Chargers, and I don't think there are too many teams playing better football than the Buffalo Bills. Boy, they should get into the playoffs, and I think they're going to be a tough out for any team, any higher seed that they face. And the Chargers, God, they're struggling. Brandon Staley getting fired and the injury to Justin Herbert. We like the Bills here, 27-14 to over the Chargers. It's going to be tough going for L.A. the rest of the way. Curious to see what happens in the offseason. Could they be a destination for Jim Harbaugh? Remains to be seen. Just a reminder to please subscribe to our channel, and if this video is useful to you, please like it and join us. We went had another double-digit win total for Week 15. Looking forward to a similar success here for Week 16. Thank you. Next up, what we perceive to be a Super Bowl preview with the Ravens at the 49ers. We think these are the top two teams in the league without question. We think that with Lamar Jackson, what he's able to do, and really that Baltimore Raven defense has just been unreal. And then, of course, the 49ers, their balance between their passing and their rushing attack, and that defense, some of the plays they make with the defensive line and the secondary. And this one, I think it's because of the home field. We Our consensus pick was the 49ers taking this one 28-21. Look forward to the rematch if that's in fact the case. And now we've got the Packers at the Panthers. The Packers disappointing us. That was one of our early losses, only loss, in the early window, including the Saturday games, the game against the Bucks. Not sure what's going on with them. They lost at New York, too. Just kind of underachieving. We think they bounced back here 24-14 to over the Panthers. I think the Panthers, after their upset win over the Falcons, might have a little bit of a letdown. Just the Packers are the better team. Take the Packers here. 
Lions going into Minnesota to face the Vikings. Vikings with that disappointing game with Nick Mullins having the chance to get the what was it a fourth down quarterback sneak couldn't quite get it. It was that close. We think the Lions are the better team, especially with Jared Goff going against Nick Mullins. Got more weapons on, on all sides. Their secondary is a little bit suspect, so hopefully they should be able to slow them down, stop the run. Still think the Lions win here, 24-17. Giants at the Eagles. The DeVito magic was slowed down a little bit at New Orleans against the Saints, but that's to be expected. That's a great pass defense. Curious about the Eagles' injuries, what's going on? We think they are far better, though, than the Giants. We like the Eagles here 28-21 at home as their playoff push continues. Seattle at Tennessee. Now, we're going to have to watch the injury report to see how Will Levis is doing. He looked like he badly injured his knee, so we're going to put a conditional flag here. But looking at what the Titans did, even in a loss hosting the Texans, we think that they are the pick here. We like them at home 24-17, especially with the Seahawks coming off a Monday night game. That's tough to do to play that game and then go back on the road. So for that logistical reason, we like the Titans. Cowboys at the Dolphins game right here in South Florida. Tempted to go to that one. This is going to be a really good matchup. we got two teams with really good pass defenses and great offenses. We kind of overlooked the Cowboys' struggles at Buffalo. Miami struggled at Buffalo as well. So what do we have here? We think it's going to be a close-fought game. We ultimately think the Dolphins are going to win it here with the home field edge. 24-21 over the Cowboys. And finally, we have the Commanders at the Jets. Not sure what to make with either of these teams. Poor Jets, another injury at the quarterback position. And then who's going to start? Is it going to be Trevor Simeon next week? Who knows? Is Aaron, going to, Aaron Rodgers going to finally come out and play? And Sam Howell's been inconsistent for the commanders. We think that's going to be enough. He's played well, I, we think, to continue to get the starting job next year. We like him here 17-14 over the Jets. That's all for this time. Thank you for joining. Please subscribe to our channel, and we look forward to sharing our future videos with you.